Hi everybody, once again my name is Thierry from Headway Rocket. Earlier on today we've seen the basic usage of the blocks anywhere and in this video we're going to see more complicated example and advanced option as well as a couple of limitations. Hope it's going to be easy to understand for all of you. If not, you know that we're always here to help on the support forum. So to start with, we're going to see how the blocks anyway shortcode behaves when the content is called through what is called a custom query. As an example, I'm going to add a shortcode in my post, post1. So I'm going to add the same shortcode as in the previous video which was a slider. So I'm adding the slider block which is situated on my shortcut rock page. And to double check is working well, I'm going to view the post. Alright, as expected in my post content of my slider. So now what I'm going to do is display this post on a page. And for that, in a headway on my sample page, I'm going to change the post option query mode to custom query and then display the post only. I see that I've in my post one where I have the shortcode, I have an error message saying that this block, which is a slider, contains assets such as JavaScript and therefore it can not be displayed properly because it needs a helper. So what we first need to do is add the shortcode helper within the post and for that we need to go to the toolkit settings. On the Headway Rocket toolkit we have a tab called settings we have the blocks anyway settings and I have an option which is called block assets helper and I'm going to enable for pages only because we, we need to add the helper is on the sample page so I'm going to save and then when I go back on my sample page on the right hand side I see a block asset helper and it's here where we need to add the helper for the slider. So I click on add shortcodes. And once again add my slider block. Okay. So it's been added here. And then I update. And view my sample page. So I refresh. And here we see that the slider block is being displayed properly. One thing to take note of is that it only applies for blocks which needs assets. So for example, a content block usually doesn't need assets. Above my slider, I'm going to add a content block shortcode and you'll see that I don't need to add a helper. It will be displayed as usual. Back on my post one, before my slider block, I'm going to add a content block and I'm going to add the one which is on the single layout. Update the page and refresh my sample page and I see that is showing the sample page content. The reason why it's showing the sample page content is because we're displaying the content block which is situated on the single layout and in a headway on the single layout because the content block is set to default behavior it will automatically pick up the actual post content in this case it's the sample page we have added a parameter in the blocks anyway shortcode for you to be able to display the item you actually want for this example I might not want to display the sample page, but I might want to display the post to content. For that, I'm going to get the ID of the post to. So in my post, 
if I click on post 2 I see on top that it's ID 119 so back on my post 1 in the short code and in my blocks anyway short code ID 16 which is the content block I'm going to add a parameter which is post underscore ID equal and 119 and if I update and refresh the page I see that despite the fact that is the content block situated on the single layout I've provided the post ID parameter so it's displaying post 2 and it carries the comments and everything and below I still have my slider block this can be very powerful because it allows us to have one content block on the single layout and display any post or any page we want. We don't need to go and add a content block on the post 2 to be able to have the shortcode. With one block we can display many posts. As I explained earlier on, when we use a shortcode for a block which needs assets such as the slider block, we need to add a shortcut helper and that takes us to some limitations for example when we display post on a category and we don't have a category page or for example on the blog index we don't have a page for it as an example I'm going to try to display the post one which contains shortcodes on the blog index before that I'm going to keep only the slider block and remove the content one which doesn't need asset anyway. So in post one, I'm starting by removing the content block shortcodes. And then in a headway, on my blog index, I'm adding a content block. and change the query mode to custom query query filters display the posts and it is surely going to display a notice saying that we need to add the shortcut helper there we go so as I mentioned before at the moment we don't have a page to add the shortcut helper on and therefore we need to assign a page to the blog index for that in WordPress under settings reading there's a core option which is called front page displays and that allows you to assign a static page to the front page so as an example home and then from there we can assign our shortcut helper on the page which is called home my pages home and on the right hand side I can add my slider helper Okay, just double check it is there. So now I can refresh my home page and the slider is working as expected. This applies to any layout such as category views, tag views. Because we don't have a page for it by default, we're not able to add the shortcodes helper and therefore we cannot use blocks which needs assets unless we create a page for it. I hope this video gave you a better understanding on how to use the blocks anyway when the content is displayed through a custom query. If you do have questions, suggestions or you get stuck anyway, please post on the support forum and we'll be there to help. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye bye.